We're going to use Gaussian elimination to solve this system of linear equations, and as we'll see, it has infinitely many solutions. We have to begin, of course, by writing the augmented matrix for the system, which we see here. In the first column, we have the coefficients of x1. In the second column, we have the coefficients of x2, and so on, and we have the constants on the right. By performing Gaussian elimination, we'll get this matrix into row echelon form. Now, the first entry in row 1, we want to be positive 1, and thankfully it already is. So next, we have to introduce zeros below this leading 1. So we need this to be a 0, and we need this to be a 0. To that end, we'll subtract row 1 from row 2, so that this 1 becomes a 0, and we'll subtract 2 row 1 from row 3, so that this 2 becomes a 0 as well. And we see the result here. Of course, we have zeros below that leading 1, and then 0 minus 1 gives us negative 1, negative 2 minus negative 5 gives us positive 3, and 1 minus 3 gives us negative 2. In row 3, we have that 2 minus 2 times 1, which gives us 0, Negative 1 minus 2 times 1 gives us negative 3. Negative 1 minus 2 times negative 5 is negative 1 plus 10, so positive 9. And 0 minus 2 times 3 gives us negative 6. All right, now we want the leading entry in row 2 to be positive 1. Right now it's negative 1, so we'll just multiply row 2 by negative 1, negating all the entries, and so this leading entry will become positive 1. That gets us here. Now we have this leading 1, and we want this entry below it to be a 0. So we'll add 3 copies of row 2 to row 3, so that this negative 3 becomes a 0. That gets us here, and in fact the matrix is now in row echelon form. The entire third row is now zeros. 3 times 1 plus negative 3 is 0, 3 times negative 3 plus 9 is 0, and 3 times 2 plus negative 6 is 0. Now having this row of zeros shouldn't be surprising since we were anticipating infinitely many solutions. Since we have three unknowns, if we had three non-zero rows, that would be enough to determine exactly one solution. But since we don't have three non-zero rows, we only have two, we'll actually have a free variable, and hence we'll see there are infinitely many solutions. So from row one, we have x1 plus x2 minus 5x3 equals 3. From row 2, we have that x2 minus 3x3 equals 2, and of course, there's no leading entry in column 3, which means x3 is a free variable. So let's say x3 equals this arbitrary parameter t. Then, we'll replace x3 with t in those two above equations, and we'll solve each of these equations for the leading variable. So we'll solve this equation for x1, and we'll solve this equation for x2. Now from this equation, we can add 3x3 to both sides, but x3 is t, so that's just adding 3t to both sides. And we have x2 equals 2 plus 3t. Then we can plug that into this first equation and move everything to the right side to get x1 by itself. Subtracting x2 from both sides is the same as subtracting 2 plus 3t from both sides, which is why we see minus 2 plus 3t. And then adding 5x3 to both sides is the same as adding 5t to both sides. So we see plus 5t. Now, this is 3, because there was a 3 over there. 3 plus 5t minus 2 plus 3t. Just simplifying this, we end up with 1 plus 2t, and that's what x1 equals. And so we have these parametric equations describing the complete solution set to this system. x1 equals 1 plus 2t x2 equals 2 plus 3t, and x3, the free variable, equals t, is a solution of the system for all real numbers t. Hence, of course, there are infinitely many solutions to this system. That's how to use Gaussian elimination to solve a system with infinitely many solutions. I'll leave links in the description to other videos going over Gaussian elimination and more examples of using it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description as well for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Love, love.
stressed out, honey. I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what. Don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie. I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed.